So, I mean, obviously, this is why I spent my whole career working on this, is that if I think if we do this right, it's going to be the greatest thing ever to happen to humanity and in some ways, I think, unlock our full potential. I mean, I've talked a lot about in all my talks about using it as a tool to help us make science and medical breakthroughs faster. That's, I think that's an obvious one. But sort of taking that longer term, one reason I got so into AI is that, um, like probably many of you in this room, you know, I'm interested in the biggest questions of why we're here, understanding our minds, what is consciousness, What's the nature of the universe? What's our purpose? And if we're going to try and really grapple with any of those questions, I think we're going to need something like AI, perhaps with ourselves enhanced as well. To And I think you know, in that future world, we'll have a chance to actually find out about some of these really deep questions. Um, you know, In the same way we're finding out with AlphaGo, just about Go, but what if we could do that with all of science and physics and, and, and you know, the biggest questions in the universe? And uh, I think, you know, that's going to be the most exhilarating journey of all to find that out. Um, you know, to just carry that on a few other things that people commented on is, you know, in terms of like, you know, us as the most intelligent beings on the planet right now and treating animals badly and these sorts of things. I think if you think about it, though, you know, let's take, you know, I don't know, tigers or something in India. They have huge ranges and those people are very poor and they, they, they're very resource poor. But if they had abundant resources, I don't think they're intentionally trying to kill off these tigers. Or I mean, some, some cases they are, but often it's just because they need the land for their cattle. And, and that's this, the tiger needs, you know, whatever number of kilo, square kilometers to live, one tiger. And it's just difficult with the number of people that are there. So I think if we solve the kind of abundance and scarcity problem, um, then I think that opens up, uh, you know, I think a lot of conflicts both, you know, between humans as well as to do with resource scarcity at the, at the heart of it. So I see, uh, you know, if we can solve a lot of these problems, I can see a much better future.